cool too fat, can't drive it and cruise. We play for keys, go with your move, I promise you gon' lose. My bitch shaped like a coke bottle, ass sit up like a stool. He was just talking gangster, now he breathing through a tube. Glock with the switch, now got his teeth, now he can't eat his food. Perga says, got me high, me and Mug and Jose on rude. Double R hit the party, we turn that bitch to a zoo. Nigga made the wrong move, we gon' beat his ass out of shoes. Exotic Glock. I was saying, I'm gonna chat about that Steeler, brother. This and all them wood green utes and that for not riding out or for not checking man when man's in jail. Brother, that's a common tale, fam. You're just telling a tale that really goes on, but man, them like to leave out. Brother, yeah, there comes times when man's ward and that, and certain man ain't been back the right way. There comes a time when man's in jail sitting down and you ain't even been back the right way by your doggies, bro. There's no fabrication, bro. That's real life, brother. There comes a time when a man them ride out for you. But what you got to understand, bro, is like this whole life, yeah, <laughs> it's not what it seems, brother. Like, when you really need man them to be there for you, certain times man them ain't there for you, bro. Man them will be there for you, but only at times when they want to be there, bro. So you get me? So when my man's calling out his gang members, rightly so, G, call out man that ain't helping you, but these same men are bragging up and down like they're doing something. But when push comes to shove, do you know how much man them, even in the ends, with this whole drill thing, chatting, bare smack, you know? They're talking mad smack, but... Really and truly, the man them in the hood know that they ain't dropping nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Coming like these guys, talking about they're going to defend man, they're going to ride out for man. When you're in jail, that's what they talk about now, you know. When man's in jail, man's got you on the roadside, man's going to ride out with you. But I don't believe certain man's fabrications, bro. There's only 5% of man that will really do that for you, bro. The rest of the man them, it's all up in air, bro. Yeah, when the time really comes and you're sitting down in jail, bro, you get to see who's who. Or when you're getting run down and that man are running off leaving you, bro. And you're there fighting for yourself, bro. You get to realise what's real, bro. Don't let certain man fool you. And again, I'm not saying that certain man won't. Because man's ridden, man. That's, that's Batman to the T. I'm Batman to the T. So there is man that will Batman, innit? But in the grand scheme of things, that's not always how it goes and that. And a man has got to remember that. Yeah, don't get caught up with this life and think that every man's going to be defending you, bro. And every man's going to be writing you letters in jail, bro. Yeah, it's not like that, my brother. Yeah, some man remember that. Do you get me? So that brother Steeler calling out them wood green man, yeah, we have to separate who's who out here, innit? And if man are talking this thing but not doing it, man have to separate that, bro. Man have to talk on them, man, there. And then man, they have to come off this game because the game's clearly not for you. If you're bridging now, can be sitting behind Joe or on the road talking like that about you, man, bro. The game ain't for you, man, fam. You don't know. You're not certain. You're not loyal to your thing, fam. And if you're not loyal to your thing, come off the blood clot road because it's not for you. The next thing people have been asking me about, you know, this Sadiq Khan thing, yeah, and legalising cannabis and that, yeah. And I've got to say this, brother, we don't need no fucking MP yeah, or no mayor telling us that we need to endorse cannabis. Even though man does it culturally, yeah, it's still not right. Man's mind is dormant when you're smoking cannabis, brother. Brothers, that's a thing with our, with our culture, yeah. You see that thing in our culture? We need to stop that big man thing. Even if man does it myself, I've got to say, we need to stop that. We need to be clear-headed and clear-minded as man them, as communities to get the maximum power out of each other. How can we be smoking weed? And then we're going to let Sadiq Khan come tell us about, yeah, legalise weed and cloud up our head even more. We need to take our head out of the clouds, brother. And that's stop smoking weed, stop doing all sorts of drugs to clean up our thing and get the respect that we need to get. Yeah, but now we've got an MP telling us, yeah, yeah, smoke weed or it's going to try and legalise it. But you're not legalising it for your people, though. You get me? You're not going to see a bag of your people smoking weed, bro. But you're going to see communities like mine, bro, smoking weed and clouding their mind. You understand? And not progressing, not seeing the real thing because their mind's just clouded because of this weed thing. And again, it's a culture thing. Not a lot of us are to blame because it's been imprinted in our culture. But when is it going to come to a stop? We don't need no man like Sadiq Khan telling us to legalise weed, bro. Yeah, we don't need that, bro. Despite what we think as man them on the roads, we need to try and be as clear as we can. Like, give me my life again, I would have never started smoking, bro. And that's real talk to the youths, innit? Like, fuck all the culture thing. Fuck smoking and looking hard, bro. I would have never smoked, but my lungs are more important, bro. My inside of my body is more important. It's just because I got caught up in this whole thing. Yeah, with the culture thing, brother. Don't get it twisted. The man can be mentally strong to come off of that anyway, you get me? Man, them have to be strong now and start thinking of coming off a of weed. It's not a culture thing. Remember, it's a mindset thing. It's a way of life thing. We need to be moving in a different way of life, especially for the younger generation. Don't know man like us are coming from the school of hard knocks, innit? But one thing I've got to say is that my dad, yeah, 
had an opportunity one time to be a big drug dealer, yeah, and to let his kids grow up seeing him be a drug dealer, or to turn that down and really care about his kids and go to work. My dad made that decision. I saw my dad make that make that decision in in my face. Do you understand? And to be honest with you, looking back on it now, yeah, I think his life turned out all right. He never had to look over his back like the man them that brought that to him, because the man them that brought that to him, you know. Their life turn up now. They were looking over their back all now. Big man, big man ages, and they're looking over their back. So I reckon my dad made the right decision. All you young G's and that, when your dad's working and doing legitimate things, never put your dad down, bro. Because it's so easy to pick up the wrong way. You get me? And have a life of looking over your back. It takes a real man to look forward and not to have his kids looking over his back like him. That's a real man G. And I respect my dad for that. I'll never, ever not respect him for that. Do you understand? I prefer that he took that way now. Yeah, I don't want no dad as a drug dealer. I want a dad that would show me the right way like he did so I can show my youths the right way. Yeah, I don't want my youths looking over their back just like my dad didn't want me doing it. It's done though. That's a real dad anyway. I'm big up, you get me? Someone that's helping me out. She knows who she is and like a family friend, you get me? And I rate her so much for the, the, the input and advice that she's giving me because right now, you know, it's all about communities and communities help each other. Do you understand? We all help each other. Yeah, and there's a advice that I need sometimes. There's advice that everyone needs where we can all come as a community and build and give each other advice and help each other out of situations. That's what it really boils down to. Yeah, so big up yourself. You know what we are. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey. We if we one three don't get introduced to the news. The Drake ain't with the shell catcher. We ain't leaving clues. I put a six down, only trying to knock down fit the dude. My glizzy be heating up, put the kid on it, keep it cool. I gotta say something to the man them right now, you know. You see what? We don't need no leaders, you know. We need a different way of life for the communities, you know. Cause man are screaming this leader, leader, leader thing, yeah. Man don't need no leaders, fam, yeah. Man need a, a way of life for the community, bro. And we all have to follow that path, innit? Yeah, collectively. Man gotta remember this thing's collective, brother. There's no way in, in earth, yeah, man can have a leader, follow one leader. No man's able to do that. And no man wants to do that. See in the society we're living in now, no one wants a leader, brother. But we need a way of life, yeah? Big man think, car. no one's putting forward a way of life. How are we going to move a certain way? How are we going to live a certain way? How is our kids going to look at a certain way of living? Brother, we need way of life, brother. We don't need no leaders. Enough men are jumping on this leader, leader thing. They want to be leaders. But and you know what's so funny? Out of all the rough got leaders that I've seen, you know, like none of these leaders and that really move up to par and can really take us to that next level. Big man thing, innit? Like, that's what we need. We need man them building a way of life for the communities to live in. Yeah, that's my whole thing. I've got to talk about bitter men right now, you get me? Because man them can't be bitter and treat a girl a certain way, you get me? Because I see a lot of bitter men talking on this YouTube thing and talking on this blogging thing. Brothers are just bitter because they've been hurt by Galia, yeah? because they weren't an alpha. You weren't an alpha, brother. Yeah, when you needed to be an alpha, you was a beta. And now you're pissed at Gal. You're coming like Kevin Samuels and that. Like, all these men are like Kevin Samuels. They're pissed at Gal, really. You get me? Because they've been hurt by a female. You've got to remember that. <laughs> like, men are moving shaky. Alpha moves the alpha way. And what we got to remember, you know, all these bitter men and that. Not all women are the same, you know, bro. You've got to remember that there's good women out there. And men have to lead properly. As what I said, alphas lead a certain way. Not all women are the same. It's your choice of women, brothers. Yeah, you got to remember, if you're getting a certain gal, it's your choice of woman, bro. Your choice of judgment, brother. you got to remember that fully, yeah? It's all that there is good women out there, G. Yeah, don't get twisted. Remember, the man them have got to lead a certain way to make women move a certain way. You get what I'm saying? Man has got to recognise the real levels, is what I said. Who's really building this way of life, a new way of life that we can follow, that we can live by. So even our sister can move a certain way. The sisters need to be moving a certain way, man. There's good sisters out there, you get what I'm saying? It's certain times it's man them that's turning them in certain ways and bad judgement. You get me of character on certain man them's but after, you get me? If you've got a mad sister that's moving mad, brother, that's your choice, brother. You ended up with that, you get what I'm saying? 
And man's just on pro-life right now, you get me? Man's pro-life, man's not even trying to stop judges' blessings, you get me? So, I'm saying to the gal, if you're in a good situation and you feel the thing's right, pro-life, man, you get me? Don't take no pill, you get me? Don't let no man put on no thing, let him do his thing, man. Pro-life, procreate with the right person. You know? One more thing I'm going to do as well, you know, I'm going to talk about the Tim Westwood thing. I come all these British rappers and these UK rappers ain't saying nothing. The man them have gone quiet now on this Tim Westwood thing. What is it, a thing where a man's just going to, you get me? sign out and get sacked and nothing goes on. We want more justice for that, man. Do you get what I'm saying? The man ain't going to get away with it like that. It's done now. All you British rappers supporting Westwood, they're going quiet now, innit? It's done now. Big 9-5.